Hey, welcome into this segment of For the Children. Dr. Michael Ramsey joins us from the Dothan Pediatric Clinic. And today, uh, first off, welcome back. Great uh, to have you on. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Uh, we're talking about boat safety. Right. Uh, uh, and so obviously, as, as that goes with kids, uh, uh, I guess uh, just, just kind of give us a rundown of, of some things that, that you think we should uh, pay attention to. Sure. We're very fortunate in this area to be close to the beach and close to several lakes. So boating is a fun family activity. But I do think we need to be mindful of those younger children um, when they're involved in, in boating activities. Um, first of all, very young children need to be wearing flotation devices at all times when they're on the boat. Um, and, and kids under age four need to make sure they have a, a life jacket that has a strap between the legs just so that it makes sure that it doesn't float up over them if they were to get in the water. Okay. Um, when, because tubing and, and wakeboarding and all that's very fun, we want to make sure kids know what to do when they fall off the tube, make sure that the driver is doing a, a speed that's appropriate for the age of the child. And then if you have a spotter on the boat who is a child, making sure that they're old enough to actually do that responsibility. Kids are very distractible, and even if they're looking out at the back of the boat, sometimes they're not really paying attention. So making sure that that person who's doing that spotting activity is really able to do that. Gotcha. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, uh, uh, we talked about last week with, with sunscreen and all that. You want to make sure that, you, you're, that you're covered in that area. Um, but, but one thing I didn't realize, I guess, was with the life jacket. Uh, and the, the, the strap between the legs. Right, Tell and them. and so in, in Alabama, kids under age eight are required to wear a life vest um, in the boat. And so um, kids who are very young, they're special life jackets that have a flap in the back and then also have a strap between the legs so that it fits um, a child who doesn't have great head control or doesn't have great muscle coordination be able to do that. I guess you could just slide right out of it. Exactly, right? exactly. So that's what's, that, that's what's there to prevent. The other thing for kids, I think, to remember is when you're, you're out in the middle of the lake and you're jumping off the boat to swim, making sure that you're not diving into water um, because you don't know if there's something submerged that you can't see. Yeah. And swimming under a pontoon boat is, can be very fun and, and a little cool and get out of the sun, but it's also very dangerous because another boat can come by creating just enough of a wave to shift that boat over, hit a small child in the head, and if they're not wearing a uh, flotation device, they can get into trouble very quickly. Jeez, scary stuff. <laughs> it is, but you know, it, it can also be something very fun if you're taking those precautions. Yeah, so uh, and we certainly hope everyone does. Uh, if you have any questions about some stuff that, that you were possibly planning on doing on the water, uh, shoot us an email morning at WTVY.com. We'd also like to thank Dr. Ramsey for coming by. And uh, yeah, so if, if there's something you do and maybe think, oh, is this a good idea? Yeah, you can talk with us. We'll help you out. <laughs> and uh, uh, as always, you can watch this again on the web channel as well, WTVY.com.